Hey everyone, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I wash and detail my truck during winter salty weather. And I know from a far away view this truck doesn't look too bad, but it was filmed a couple weeks ago in upstate New York after we had a snowstorm and a lot of rain. So up close you can see that there's a combination of salt and dirt all over, and the silver sky metallic paint color looks a little dull. So for me, it was definitely time for a wash. This is just on how I do my exterior, which is constantly dirty during the winter and a real big uphill battle for me to keep clean. But for me, washing and detailing is really important and it's also really fun, which is why I'm making this video for you guys today. So the first thing I do is I take the pressure washer and go through all the wheel wells because that's where usually the most stuff collects. And I also spray down the wheels really well to get all of the brake dust off. I go pretty high pressure here because sometimes that dirt is really, really stuck on and low pressure just won't do it. I also make sure to get the undercarriage to hit anything on the frame and underneath, and I go high pressure with this. After I've hit the wheel wells and underneath, I spray down the body of the truck using low pressure because I don't want to compromise the clear coat, but I still want to get all of that dirt off. The next thing I do is soap up the body, mainly focusing on windows and basically anywhere I see paint. The reason I open and close my door right there is because sometimes when I go over the door handle with the pressure washer, it thinks I'm unlocking or locking the truck with my hand, so I was just checking what was going on. The last thing I do with the pressure washer is rinse off all the soap. After I'm done rinsing, I do an overall inspection to make sure I didn't miss any spots. Now my least favorite part of this whole process is drying because at this point my hands are freezing and numb. I usually go over all the windows and the mirrors first because those seem to collect water spots more quickly and I make sure that I periodically change towels to avoid water streaks. I always have to find creative ways to reach the top of my truck because I'm relatively short and I think someone asked me in one of my previous videos how tall I was and to answer that I am 5'5". Five five. Also, I didn't show it, but I usually dry down the bed too with a beach sized towel. But this time it was so cold that a lot of the water actually froze on the bed and I had to wait like a day before I could dry it off. I get a couple questions on here if I have a lift, and I actually don't. This is all stock suspension, but I do get a little extra height from my KO2s.
After my least favorite part comes my favorite part, which is using spray on wax. I use Meguiar's Express Spray Wax, which always does a fantastic job and is so, so easy to apply. Now I know you can do the spray wax and dry at the same time, but I usually don't move fast enough to dry all the water spots on for the window when I'm waxing at the same time, which is why I do the two processes separately. Also, if you have a Silver Sky Metallic, leave me a comment below because I've been seeing less and less of them out on the road and actually more cements and magnetic gray metallics, which are also, by the way, great colors, but I'm feeling a little bit left out lately. Here you can see how cold it actually was because there are mini icicles forming. Again, I highly recommend using a spray wax if you want your vehicle to look like it just came off the dealership lot because it really does finish off beautifully and it's not a lot of effort. The finishing touch I put on my truck is tire shine. Sometimes I'll actually use tire cleaner before, but today they weren't too bad, so I just used tire shine. And the product I use is Chemical Guys Tire Kicker because it gives my KO2s a bit of a wet look, which I really like. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.